Katasak. Seeing the state of his body. I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad. To have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then. Let's see what story this corpse has to tell. I can give a detailed examination of the corpse. It is a task that I have been trained to perform. I gladly cede the privilege. We note a great number of large blunt force contusions covering the entire surface of the victim's body. None of the wounds could be attributed to a blade or a spear, nor are there any visible bullet entry points. Practically every bone has been broken in multiple places. The rib cage was torn open and then collapsed. The open wound reveals multiple perforations of the vital organs. Here, the borders of the wounds have been singed. The flesh is blackened, exposed to a flame, no doubt. And we also note several patches of mineral residue. They seem oddly out of place in spite of the exotic insular origin of our deceased. I would be hard pressed to tell you which of the wounds proved to be the fatal blow, but one thing is certain. He was smashed violently by a giant rock that was without a doubt on fire. Yes. These wounds are similar to those given by a heated cannon shot, though in a less regular fashion. The dead soldiers we found had identical wounds. As crazy as this may sound, whoever is responsible for this attack is capable of wielding molten rock. In any other circumstance, your conclusion would qualify you for an asylum. But I stand on the side of the improbable. The native's powers reside outside the body of knowledge we possess. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hach has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. The moon is high. We may start. Take your place. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. 
Ato al kom frangawi brandi. Ole hana memen adestame haman. Bara fridenan ta hanemo kwate grenfem. Linkui dam da renao te da hodogs. Lemat. De ta hawan kloisam. De ta lugedon velam. De ta ragam buledam. De ta tamenam reloidan. A de ta lamen kante bai dam. En antelam far frag tangom. Katasak, help me, please. Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster. Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasach. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself! Come on! I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. I will need to return to his sanctuary in the north of the island. He must be hiding there. You know where he is? Yes, but I wasn't able to enter. I have one seed, but I need another. Vinbar is a very powerful Donegad, as well as being the Hoi King. He has access to knowledge that even I cannot attain. He has seen the true face of an old mill Frichtim. His secrets must be well kept. And he would only have shared them with those he loved the most. Yes. I must find Sera. She is certainly the only one to know which seed is needed. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasach. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Mev. King Vinbar, why? Constantine didn't do anything. He has never sought to wrong your people in any way. Like a worm, he burrows. You are so naive. You cannot see with my eyes. An old Milfrichtimin saw the wound. From atop the volcano, he warned me of the danger, fed by bitterness, driven by desire, taking without giving. He will be the end of us all. You have gone completely mad. Take it. You are too blind. 
too Renaixe to understand. Leave him! Your cousin is probably freed from his stone prison. You're right. Let's go see him quick. Constantine! Wake up, please! I beg you! Hang on. We're bringing you home to get you healed. Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let me... <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. <sighs> I'm quite relieved myself. Actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you. But Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it, and in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site, a place full of magic. I followed his instructions, and all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. 
Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Donegada practice to bind themselves to the island. Donegada? Catasac taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on all Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. <laughs>